Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here. Uh, we got a storm on the way, a snowstorm, so I went and grabbed my four season tent and I wanted to redo the video. Uh, I did one earlier about how I set this up, but it, uh, I didn't do the sequence right. And so I'm gonna redo it now and uh, hopefully we'll get this set up before the storm hits. It's just, it's just coming over the mountains right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, this is the Bighorn 3. Yeah, Bighorn 3 uh, tent that you can get at Cabela's. It's a four season tent. It's really awesome and it's pretty easy to set up. So. stake it around the main uh, areas where you can stake it off. There's six main areas. Okay, now what you do is grab the poles. There's three poles. There are two A-frame poles that go up on both sides. One at the entrance, one on the other side, and then a ridgeline pole in the middle. So I'm gonna grab those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, the tent comes with a bunch of ropes they use for guy lines. Uh, the white ones are what you use on on the A-frame uh, poles. There's only two of them, so they're color coded, and the white ones are what what you use for this section.
that. All right, now, now that you have your poles in, I always recommend putting on the optional uh, roof protector over where the stove goes in on the stove jack. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. It's, it's much easier to put it on before you erect the tent. And once it's up, it's like eight or nine feet in here and you can't really reach it. Okay, so the next move is to pull on both the white ropes one at a time and then go ahead and stake it off and that's going to help you get the, the tent pitch. Thank you. 
All right, we're up. Uh, I need to do a little more of these clips and then you stake off the side of these. Uh, I've got some more stakes over there. You just put those in the ground, stake them off. Uh, but this tent is awesome. It's so great to use. Uh, it holds up to wind really well. And overall, I couldn't ask for a better winter shelter. I'll, uh, I'll get this all dialed in and get the stove going. And then I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like all set up on the inside. All right, we're all set up. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you guys the interior here. So this tent, like I mentioned, is the Bighorn 3. It's from Cabela's. It measures 12 feet by 14 feet. Real easy to set up, and it's real nice and spacious on the inside. So let's go on in. Um, I like to put down these commercial grade floor rugs just as the entryway, because that has a tendency to get wet if it's snowing outside. It can kind of get muddy too. Uh, I like to put my camp table, which I'll cook on during the winter time, and also uh, put my cooler underneath there to use as a little bench while I'm cooking. So I'll take out all my items out of the cooler that I'm gonna prepare for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then I'll uh, use the cooler to sit on while I bake stuff. Or I'll just sit on it and right here at the table. Then I've got my uh, oversized cot. This thing is extremely comfortable. And then uh, I've got a zero degree outfitters bag right now with a couple pillows. And then I've got a place for Sierra to, to uh, sleep and relax. So that's her little dog bed. And then here's the best part of this tent. It's the stove. And this thing is incredible, man. I've had it to where, I think the coldest night I've ever had was negative 27 Fahrenheit. And this stove just kept on cranking. So uh, I cook over it. I use that uh, Dutch oven right there. It's actually a deep skillet, deep dish skillet and a, just a normal skillet just on top of one another. And I can bake uh, cinnamon rolls in there and make breakfast, breakfast biscuits, stuff like that. And, um, you know, if you're going to have a stove, always be sure to have a fire extinguisher with you because you never know when something might might happen, like an accident. And you don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a huge raging fire in your tent. And then for my uh, for my chair, I use the Big Air chair from REI. Um, one little piece of advice with this chair, since it uses air as the cushions, it, it gets cold if it's cold out. Then the air inside of it's cold. So... Um, use a blanket, put a blanket over it or, or, you know, get in a sleeping bag and then sit in it if it's really cold outside because that way it'll buffer you from the cold air that's inside the chair. Uh, and then I've got my Photo backpacker tripod, which I take with me everywhere. Um, but I love it here. This is, this is four mile in Colorado and, uh, I get to wake up to views of Mount Princeton every morning. So... I'm really excited for that because that's that's to, in in the entire Collegiate Peaks. This is definitely my my most favorite mountain. You can tell it looks like it's storming on top of there. Huh? Well, it's gonna hit here eventually, and I'll be all set. So I'm gonna get the stove going, um, start cooking some dinner, and then settle in for the evening.